Hello Nidorinars and Nidorinos, I'm King Nidor and today we're coming here from Pewter City where the rock type skulls are still yet to win a game and if they're looking to get their first one of the season, they're going to have to take down the Verbank Plasma who have been having a terrible start this season after making last year's Champions game. So with that said, let us know in the comments below who you think is going to win this matchup. Will it be the rock types? Will it be the poison types? Let's go! That's right, the Burbank Plasma have not gotten the season start that we expected, however they are starting today with Glamoura making its first appearance this season alongside Toxtricity. It will be Minimal making its debut for the Pewter Skulls and with that shield's down ability, that shield does get deactivated and it is going to be alongside Hisuian Avalog as the Vine Whip immediately from Glamoura onto Minimal. It doesn't do a great deal of damage and it's followed up by the last resort from Toxtricity which does fail but the Plasma do have full speed control at the moment as the Swallow from Minimal is going to fail because it is not going for a stockpile which means Hisui Navalok needs to go for something big going immediately for the Luster Purge on to Glamour, super effective, and it doesn't activate that Toxic Debris as it was a special attack, but it responds with the Double Edge, not very effective there, onto Avalog, there is a little bit of recoil damage for Glamour, they do not want to activate that Toxic Debris either, the Baby Doll Eyes now, from Toxtricity, is going to lower that base attack of Hisuian Avalog, which is base 127, as that Bleak Wind Storm is not very effective on either of the Poison types from Mini Orbits, followed up by the Acrobatics from Avalog, not very effective, on Glamora and it does activate that toxic debris so those poison spikes nice and early being scattered over the side of the pewter skulls as the rollout now from Glamora super effective on Avalog not that it'll look like it but it will get stronger with every connection it's followed up by the judgment as well from toxicity they not very effective but massive damage being done to Avalog the tearful look now from Minior to toxicity after what it just did the Avalog is going to lower that physical attack and special attack of toxicity Avalog looking to follow it up does go for the rest so intelligently it is going to restore its health especially with that rollout on the field however it is also going to put itself to sleep in the process so it will need to wake up early otherwise Minior is going to have to do all the hard work that rollout continuing to go for Avalog and it will get stronger with every turn Toxtricity with the reflect on the side of the Verbank Plasma this is going to make them stronger against physical moves and the Pewter Skulls are a very physical side the clear smoke from Minior doing very little not very effective damage there to Toxtricity but does eliminate all st stat changes with Avalog still being fast asleep on the field Minior is practically by itself that rollout continuing to target Avalog as well getting stronger every time and now the Avalanche from Toxtricity, super effective on the flying rock type Minior, who does go for a rest of its own, but it doesn't work whilst it has that shields down going on. And now the sleeping Avalog still does nothing, but that shields down has been activated for Minior, which means it would have actually fallen asleep if it had already been activated, as it is now the quick slam field goes for the play rough, not very effective. On to Glamour, and yet again it sets up the toxic spikes, that toxic debris being activated twice, which means now whoever comes out for the Pewter Skulls is going to be badly poisoned, and that will happen shortly because Avalok has just been eliminated by that super effective rollout, finally taking it out. Toxtricity follows it up with another judgment, this time onto Minial, and puts it in knockout range with that not very effective move, and it is going to be Garganackle coming out, landing in those toxic spikes. It is going to be badly poisoned. This is going to get progressively worse with every turn. The Pewter Skulls need to act fast as the Growl for Minior is going to lower that physical attack of both uh, both poison types. So on the field, the rollout continuing from Glamour almost eliminates Garganackle. The toxic thread isn't going to work on Garganackle with that clear body ability, so its stats cannot be lowered, and it's already poisoned as well. The work up here from Garganackle, it is going to boost that physical attack as well as that special attack, but it is more of a much physical Pokemon as it is feeling the effects of that poisoning. And remember, like I said, it will get worse with every turn. Minial laying the smack down on the Toxtricity. Glamour is going to respond with the expanding force onto Minial, and Minior has been eliminated from this matchup. The Burbank Plasma off to a fantastic start. This is what we expect to see from them as now the spikes are being set up on the side of the pewter skulls as well as a triple layered entry hazard with two toxic spikes and the regular spikes the burning jealousy from Garganackle does put Glamora in knockout range and again Garganackle 
That poisoning getting worse, it will be taken out in the next turn as out comes your Hyperion, landing in those toxic spikes. So now it's badly poisoned and it's also going to take damage from the regular spikes that just landed in as well. Glamora also going for the horn attack here. Not very effective there. On to Rhyperia, followed up by Toxtricity going for the Focus Plus. That'll be super effective, but it is avoided by Gargant and Aqua. This allows Rhyperia to go for the Calm Mind, trying to keep calm whilst it is poisoned. It is going to boost those special stats. But like all the other rock type members, it is much more of a physical Pokemon. This Garganacle is going to go for the Take Heart. And this is actually very clever because it boosts its special attack, boosts its special defense, but more importantly, it has just cured itself of its poisoning. It is an easy target on the field, however, so it will need to act quick as there is our period feeling the effects of its poison. And Glamora with the bullet punch is going to finish off Garganacle with that super effective move. Clearly not satisfied with its poisoning being taken away from Garganacle, the attack order from Toxtricity on to Rhyperior. Rhyperior is going to follow, uh, respond sorry, with the conversion to it's going to change that rock ground type and has now just become a water type Pokemon. It does want to capitalize on its water type in advantage over Glamora but doesn't want to receive any electric type attacks from Toxtricity as now out comes Tyranitar with that unnerve ability making the Burbank Plasma too nervous to eat their berries but they are in full control at the moment. Tyranitar has just been badly poisoned and is hurt by those spikes as well. And Glamora, who's had speed control this whole matchup, goes for the block onto Rhyperior, making it so it can no longer escape. Not that it's looking to run away, it just wants to be cured, as it's also on the receiving end of the Terrain Pulse from Toxtricity. And the Bug Bite from Tyranitar puts Toxtricity into knockout range with that not very effective move, and also steals its Leopard Berry in the process. Not that it's very good to Toxtricity, as long as that unnerve ability is in play from Tyranitar, Rhyperior now going and setting up the electric terrain. And it's not worried, oh, sorry, it is very worried about taking electric damage from Tyranitar now that it is a water type, but there is that poisoning afflicting Tyranitar again. It gets progressively worse with every turn for these rock type Pokemon as Rhyperior has just been put into knockout range and Glamora. With the heal bell, that bell will chime, but unfortunately it does fail. Not that it needs to happen. I'm sure Rhyperior wishes the bell was chiming for it, but the sweet kiss here from Toxtricity onto Tyranitar. It is going to leave Tyranitar confused. However, it is also going to boost that physical... Oh, no, sorry, it doesn't. I was about to say it was going to boost its physical attack. I am thinking of a totally different move, but it is able to shake off that confusion, and it goes for the attract onto Glamora. It is going to make Glamora fall in love with Tyranitar, but it's probably more falling in love with the fact that Tyranitar is poisoned and it's attracted to that. The quick attack from Rhyperior is going to eliminate Toxtricity. They've finally got one on the board. The Pewter Skulls need to act fast though. As I said, that poisoning getting worse. Tyranitar feeling the effects of it. Rhyperior is going to feel the effects of it as well. It needs to hold on, but Rhyperior is eliminated, which means Glamour gets the credit for that. That is its fourth elimination of this matchup. Can it get the soul clean sweep as out comes Cantonian Mux of the Verbank Plasma? It's the Cantonian Arcanine, the Tarras, the Draftee coming out for the Pewter Skulls, who's going to be badly poisoned. It is hurt by those spikes, but it is now about to Tarrasinize into a rock type Pokemon. That is right, it is the Cantonian Arcanine, the Tarras, the Draftee for the Pewter Skulls, and it needs to act real fast. Try and take out Glamour, try and take out Mux and the three remaining Pokemon on the bench of the Verbank Plasma. The Hydro Sting from Arcanine goes for Muck. It does get the critical hit, but it surely would have gotten the elimination of Glamour, who is in love with Tyranitar, and it's immobilized by that love as well. As Tyranitar has snapped out of its confusion, it is going to go and set up the Doom Desire, choosing Doom as its destiny. That Doom Desire cannot come around fast enough, as Muck with the Scale Shot, this multi-hit move, Onto Tyranitar, it is going to lower the defenses of Muck, but it will boost its speed once it's finished, as it does connect three times there onto Tyranitar. <laughs> will Muck potentially become the quickest Pokemon on the field as Arcanine feels the effects of that poison, as does Tyranitar's, who's just getting so much worse here. But surely only going to be in for about two more turns, so it's that quick as the victory dance. From Arcanine, it is great that it's boosting its attack and defense and its speed, although it is already the quickest on the field, but it needs to get some eliminations with that boosted attack. Maybe it should go for an Earthquake. As yet again, Glamour trying to shake off its love for Tyranitar, and it is going to go for the Zap Cannon onto Arcanine. Puts Arcanine into knockout range. A light screen now being set up 
apply mark making the side stronger against special type moves after already being stronger against physical type moves earlier the defog here from Tyranitar it is going to lower that evasiveness of muck and making it so their light screen wears off but it also makes those spikes disappear from the field including the poison spikes but it is too late for that the electric terrain is gone as well but Arcanine is going to be eliminated by its poisoning so Tyranitar is all by itself it has five poison types to contend with and this poisoning which keeps getting worse it is surely too late it is surely out of time it must only have one turn left it's in knockout range glamora is in love with it though is glamora going to get all six it's immobilized by that love muck with the easy opportunity goes for the mega horn and takes tyranitar out of this match with that super effective move and this is the type of Verbank Plasma that we expect to see. They absolutely dominated the Pewter Skulls after Glamour's Toxic Debris was set up twice and next round they will be going up against the Mahogany Explorers who are trying to continue their win streak but it will be the Skulls going up against the Spike Myth Rockets next round but until then Nidorinos, Nidorinos, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field and if you enjoyed what you saw please leave a like, share, subscribe but more importantly always remember you are awesome and I'll see you when you see me.